Hello everybody, my name is and welcome to a brand new series in Hearts of Iron 4, the Führer Reich mod. Which is like a spin-off of Kai's Reich. There's one event Kai's Reich, which talks about like an alternate history within the Kaiser Reich universe. Uh, if the Entente won World War One, which is kind of what this mod is based on. It's based on the book in Kaiser Reich. It's a very weird situation. But we're going to be playing as Germany in the mod, which is what was voted on in my Discord. Made a little vote in there. So we're going to get started basically right away. So basically, it's, it's very similar to um, normal World War II, I guess. We got the French and the British. Uh, Germany is fascist with Adam Dresler in charge. We got, like, the Soviet Union over here. And, yeah, I mean, uh, the United States owns Beijing, California for some reason. Spain's in the middle of a civil war. Uh, the Ottoman Empire has been basically destroyed. Turkey doesn't really exist. But that's A-OK. -okay. Italy actually got a lot of land after uh, Versailles, so I'm assuming they're not actually going to join the Axis. But again, I don't really know. We can just look at the factions right now. So we got the Stahlpact, which involves me and the Dutch, who are also fascist. Again, a lot of this is definitely based on Kaiserreich, so a lot of the ideologies are basically the exact same. We got the Imperial Protection Alliance, which is basically the British Empire. And then you have the Continental Entente, which is basically France and Italy. And I think that's really it. We also got the, uh, the Rhineland is under occupation, but that'll probably end at some point, hopefully. So, decisions available, which I think is just, uh, yeah, game 50 military experience. We'll go for our national focus. This is the only one we can do right away. We'll strengthen our government position, unassigned divisions. We have half a million manpower. I'm assuming we're just in basic, yeah, volunteer only, regulated markets. Early mobilization, and we're medium popularity. I know, yeah, Hitler is the economic minister. Okay, so research slots. Immediately, we're going to go for you. Get these techs going. And then probably... This one. Like, what, what level like here? We're at the... We're at Good tanks that we could possibly get. Artillery could be a little bit better, but I just think infantry, 1918. Might as well just get that right away. I'm just going to select all of my troops right now. Is that the entire army? Okay, 41 divisions. So we'll put that in half. Put them underneath a field marshal. You can be under Rommel. You can be under uh, Manstein. And then we'll just put them under this guy. It's all fine. So purple is going to be on the front line with the French, and I don't know if we're going to attack the Polish or the, uh, the Czechs first. I don't know why it's called Zapatos, uh, Zaposlavia. I don't know what that means, but I'm not too sure where we attack first. So we'll just put them on the uh, their border for now. Go up to speed four. Uh, thanks for the events, and yeah, only important events just like we did for Kaiserreich. So purple is basically just going to go try to get this front line here. Just so they get the preparation bonus, and you guys can just offensive line here. And that should be fine. So we have free civilian factory, so... We have 35 civilian. We have 20 military. Probably want to get some few more civilian factories to start off with. And just put them like basically in the middle of the country where they're not going to get attacked right away. And then build some military factories like that. And that should be fine, I think. Able dockyard, so let us get some submarines, build four of you. Get a convoy going. And then also heavy cruiser. Do we have a battleship? We do have a battleship. And very slowly build those as well. Infantry equipment, of course, we're going to need a decent amount of that. We're going to need support equipment. And probably anti-air, I would imagine. As well as motorized. I just imagine these are the things we're going to need the most of right now. How do I force you down to the bottom of the page? I'll strike you down, it's fine. Okay, and there we go. Um, We don't have enough resources that. We actually need a little bit of oil. We'll get that from Venezuela. It doesn't really matter. Who we get it from right now is the beginning of the game. 
And we're not training anybody. Well, what's our actual army made of right now? We got a handful of Panzers, we got some Mountaineering Divisions, a few Motorized. So we're gonna build one Panzer and then like three. Maybe like. You know, but like three of three, six Motorized Divisions. We don't need cavalry, I'm not gonna build them at all ever. And then a handful of you, I guess? What are we missing? We're missing light tanks. Okay. We'll build like three light tanks as well. Let's get rid of uh, some of the support equipment so we can build the tanks. And now we're once again low on resources, just oil again. Yeah, just get everything we need from you. Yeah, so Spain's in the middle of the Civil War right now. We got the Monarch of Spain down here, the Republic of Spain, the um, the Collectivist, as well as the Fascists over here, which is the faction we're going to try to support. Uh, we can't really support them until we have expanded the TST, which is this event down here. So we gotta go through all of these events, which will take a few months, I think. Most of these are relatively short, a month. Okay, well, it's going to take maybe like half a year, and then we can expand the CST and try to help this guy get into power so we can have more allies on the continent. Because I don't know who is... I want to look at actual the country list. Is anybody else... I don't know, Autocrat 2 maybe, but these are the guys who are most aligned with us. we got the Indian Revolt. Romania can side with us. Mexico would maybe do it. Ecuador... They don't actually like us right now, but that's because they're slightly different, um... Because they're, they're national populist and not Baltist, which is like the Nazism of the game. Who are you? I have no idea. Resorb. Okay, this guy down here in southern Mexico. So you, you actually support ideology, so you should maybe want to join our faction at some point. One nice thing about this too is we have to have to evade the United States. We have a nice jumping off point with this guy. The Indian Revolt in 1935. During the later uh, weeks of 1935, widespread revolt and rioting took place in the several important Indian cities following the refusal of the British administration to reform working conditions and raise pay throughout the British India. These harsh conditions were imposed as early as 1924 and have caused a great resentment among the population. While initially dispersed, a collection of rebel leaders have succeeded in ejecting British officials from major locations throughout the country. Having taken up arms uh, with the purpose of forcefully expelling the British from India, while numerous the rebels are poorly equipped, and know whether their efforts will ultimately succeed. How many troops do you have? You have 27 to 42 divisions. You have 10 to 18. Like, you're not doing so great. We could send volunteers over there right now. I mean, they do like us. Similar ideologies of plus 20. I mean, we could try it and try to just defend their capital city. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea, I think. But, you know, for now, India can kind of just do, it, do its own thing. I don't think we need to worry about it too, too much. Okay, so Rain Romania is also, you know, sim similar ideology group. Fight the faction. Okay, yeah. Well, again, just like Kaiserreich, only allowed to join factions through events and decisions. So we can't invite people through like the traditional uh, way that you wouldn't, you know, traditional parts of iron for. Yeah, so we have the manpower ready. We're just really... Oh, it's now it's just a waiting game. We're just going to go to speed 5 right away. Like, there's not much going on, so there's no reason to go on speed 4. National focus complete. We've legitimized our government. Okay, I'll read that in a second. We must legitimize the government. Our government has been an international pariah ever since the end of the Great War. The Treaty of Versailles carved our nation apart and left it in the shadow of its former glory. In 1933, Adam Dresler led a coup which put the Volkis Party in power. Though it is massively popular with the people of Germany, the Entente powers with the support of Britain put sanctions on our nation and spread propaganda to our citizens, criticizing Dresler as an anti-Christian warmonger. In this troubled time, many factions have arose in Germany to undermine the Volkis party, using the international controversy to their advantage. 
popular war hero, uh, Hermann Göring, has been the leader of the second largest national faction in Germany for many years. The Göring sees eye to eye with Dressler on many issues. He disagrees with Dressler's radical uh, physiology and strongly believes that uh, to have a fighting chance to win another great war, Germany must, fulfill, must be fully self sufficient. Goring has laid out a four-year plan on make Germany competitive with the other great powers in case that another conflict were to break out. But until that point, Germany must appear peaceful as to not grab the attention of the ever-watchful French, our greatest threat on the continent. When Dresler took power, he disbanded the Reichstag. Dresler was a vocal opponent to liberal democracy and saw the Reichstag as only roadblock in the way to restoring the greatness of Germany. With suspected funds from France through many pro-democracy factions have pushed for the re-establishment of the Reichstag, despite the inherent slowness of democratic systems, Plans have been drawn which Dressler would remain Chancellor for life and, and have vinyl legal slave but the new Reichstag would be formed to draft laws and administer smaller local issues. Given power to a separate legal body may endanger the influence of Dressler through uh, though, but a facade of democracy may satisfy the French and liberals within the borders. So basically it's saying should we purge the de uh, people who support the democracy or the army officials who have power? And I think within the context of uh, the story, it makes more sense to purge the army officials because we don't want to, we don't want to antagonize the French. If we don't want to antagonize the French, we don't want to, you know, kill the people that support democracy, because then the French would be very upset. I would imagine at that. King the Fo King George V is dead this morning. The note was attached to the gates of Buckingham Palace. And now the king has died peacefully in his sleep. You know, which happens every single time, no matter what. So we have a new king, King Edward VIII. Uh, putting power of minus goes down. He's charismatic, though, apparently. Any assassination of... I can't even... The second. Uh, the Sultan... I'm guessing the Ottoman Empire is now... Yeah, it's got a bit of an issue. The General Assembly, leader of the Ottoman Empire. Emergency sessions, because I'm assuming the king is now dead. Which is kind of an issue for them. It's not an issue for us because it's not a huge concern. So, tw f 10 more days until that is ready. How long until 23rd of March? Yeah, because we're just like starting off the game, so everything's extremely slow. We don't have like the infrastructure in place to really get things done. So, you purge the opposition. I think we want to. Well, we can see what they do. Party of Social Conservatives goes down by 10%. Division organization recovery goes down for a year, but that doesn't really matter. National populace goes down, and air doctrine takes longer, or land doctrine takes longer. Uh, proof relations cost, and proof relations also, that doesn't matter either. Political power gain, that one's just bad, I don't want that one. But we can't do, what's this done do? Say news power just by war goal time minus twenty five percent, or force oaths of loyalty. Organization planning speed political power plus a hundred. I mean, organization planning speed sounds pretty good. Probably better than the political power gain. Just by war goal time doesn't really matter. I don't think. We're just, we're just gonna purge the army officials. And then purge scoring because I don't really care about the air doctrine. I mean, we're not going to really be researching land doctrine either, so it's like it doesn't really matter which of the two we choose. We're just going to choose the, uh... Choose scoring. Okay, so we could go... So volunteer limited is a step up. Can we go to... No, we can't go here until we're at, at war. We're a bit silly. I feel like we should be able to. Can we go up to mobilization? Partial. We can't go into war economy either, so a bit disappointing. Decisions available. You get one building slot. I mean, no, we don't need the building slots yet because we have, a, we have a, so many building slots open, it doesn't matter. The Paris Colonial Expedition. A uh, few short hours ago, France has declared the Paris Colonial Exposition to be open a few months of extended planning. France, after facing scent of flack from the colonial holdings from other nations such as Germany and the USSR, has decided to hold a festival dedicated to displaying the vast resources of her colonies amongst the multiple of her subjects. 
The multitude of other nations participating in this event, uh, particularly other nations possessing colonies, nonetheless, the event is planned to continue for another few months until it's closed at French's discretion, despite condemnations from the German and Soviet governments. I mean, so, so we got France down here. They have their colonies have basically split up into three um, satellite states. And they have a you know a handful of it actually under direct control themselves. So can we? I want to be able to support these guys in time. I mean, we can send volunteers right away. So I'm actually going to send like two Panzer divisions because typically these guys don't have tanks. Or at least I would imagine they don't. Do you have a promotion? I'm going to send these guys over. Uh, I'm going to send in these two tanks, they can volunteer, and eventually, how long is it going to take you for you to get there? It's going to take until the 31st of March, so about 10 days. Right now, it kind of looks like the F Republic of Spain is winning, but it is a bit hard to tell. Yeah, so we're going to purge Goring. It's just, uh, National Populace goes down by 10%, but they, they only have 13%, so it's like it doesn't really matter. And they should arrive here. And then we'll try to help them push their way to, um... Fantastic, guys. We're here now. Where's the capital of... Okay, so we've got to push our way to Madrid, Barcelona, and Sevilla. These are the three major cities. We're going to go down to speed four while we're actually within the Civil War itself. Yeah, so the French are supporting the Republic of Spain. Apparently, the French are also supporting the Indian Revolt against the British. Yeah, the Indian Revolt is, a, is in a weird situation right now. Are they actually losing? I imagine so. Yeah, it's not a great time right now for them. Yeah, and then who else are you getting all tears from? Anybody? No, just the French? Because I know that the French and the British actually don't like each other. Like, I've, I've done, like, a test run of the mod, which is basically I just put it on Observe and watched it. Which is what I usually do when I start new mods. A little score. I don't know if score matters at all. Has it always been there? Am I crazy? But what I've seen of this mod so far, basically, British will fight the French at some point. Which is actually good for us. We got our electrical engineering, uh, research time minus 3%. Of course, yeah, look, it's just really, I mean, the French are, are shipping tanks to the, uh, to the Republicans, which is not a great sign. We need our tanks to kind of beat the French tanks, because they, yeah, they only have, like, militia troops, which is not very good. Okay, you delete this. I'm gonna have you front line and try to defend against their tanks. Yeah, one of our tanks deploy. Only 2.2% chance, which isn't actually very great. But as soon as we win this battle, I would like to push our way into this city. I mean, I, mean, I wish I could send more troops. Increase influence level. Test, 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 test. Okay, well. I'm going to increase my influence level with them because I don't know what it does. But it seems like it would be good to have. Okay, so our tank is here. and Hopefully we can push their tank back. We've countered their tactic, so let us try to push in the heater. We've done it. Yeah, let's see if we can try to push the French tanks back. Hey, France, how are you guys doing? It's good that they don't actually hate us for fighting each other on the, uh, the front lines over here. Okay, yeah, the Spanish troops could just kind of fill in the lines here. Because I would like to push our way to Madrid. Hmm. I mean, their French tanks are actually, like, extremely weak. And they're not even on the front lines entirely, and I can't send more troops over here. Like, the Spanish Civil War. Republic of Spain is not close to capitulating. 
we're not close to capitulating, and so no, so far nobody's actually close to capitulating. But we want to push away to Madrid. You have no commander. I don't know why. That just seems a bit silly to me. Okay, so we've eliminated Goring. Get our O's of Loyalty, and then we can expand a TST, which basically expands the entirety of uh, the focus tree for us. And let's just do a bunch of other things. So thank you for watching. This has been the end of the first episode. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, give us a thumb down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.